The greatest hope for this world is love. As I was waiting at the hospital, my kids were on their way. I wasn't sure what I was going to say to them. I was worried. I had anxiety. I wasn't sure how they were going to respond. When they got to the hospital, they saw their mom, my wife, in bed. They knew it was not good. I brought them into a room and I told them she only had a couple days left to live. I had my arms around both Ellie and Ben and we were crying so hard. We were so sad and we were just weeping uncontrollably. Then a huge pile of snot came out of my nose and fell on Ellie's foot. Then we just started cracking up. We knew everything was going to be okay. Everything was going to be okay because we had love. My name is Chip Turner. I've been sitting on the board of ProKids for about seven years. We all have our worries and our concerns. We all have things that keep us up at night. Is our kid going to make the A-team? Is my kid going to do well in his test? Is she going to do well in her ACT so she can get into the college of her choice? Is the health of my family members going to be okay? All of these things are important. But the difference between us and the kids in foster care, we all have the presence and love of family in our lives so we can persevere through our struggles. Foster care kids so often don't have that. Foster care kids worry about, are they going to sleep in the same bed tomorrow night? Are they going to get abused when their mom or dad comes home? Will they have food to eat? Will they ever see their siblings again? Will their mom be strung out on heroin? They worry, are they ever going to be with loved ones? Are they ever going to have a stable family? So often, they don't have the love of a family to overcome their problems. But as crazy as it sounds, we as a community can actually help find these kids the love of a family. ProKids has a 99% success rate helping keep kids free from abuse and neglect. This is what we hang our hat on, a 99% success rate. But you know what that is? Love. On June 13th, 2017, I got a call. My son, Ben, and his buddy, Paul, were in a bad car accident. I was told Paul got out okay, but they weren't sure about Ben. They told me the accident was on Cougar Mill Road. I was worried. I did not know how Ben was going to be. Was he okay? Was he going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of his life? Was he alive? I very quietly and peacefully got in my car and drove out of Marymount up Miami Road. I was driving the speed limit, maybe even slower than the speed limit because I was worried about what I was going to see when I got to the scene of the accident. I was driving up Miami Road, then I took a right on Camargo. The kids in foster care don't know what is next. So often they have that worry every day. What is next? Are they going to get abused? Are they going to get food for the day? Are they going to be in a different bed tomorrow night? Please let me share some statistics with you. 99% of ProKids children have been safe from abuse and neglect. Child abuse and neglect affects over 1 million children every year. Child abuse and neglect costs our nation $220 million every day. This cost includes immediate needs such as foster care and emergency medical care. And it includes ongoing costs such as special education, criminal intervention, and long-term foster care. Some of these costs include incarceration. 64% of young men who have been in foster care are incarcerated between ages 18 and 26. These costs include early pregnancy. 70% of female youth who have been in foster care have had at least one pregnancy by age 21. These costs include unemployment. Childhood trauma is associated with increased unemployment among men and women. And these costs include homelessness. 50% of the homeless population spent time in foster care. A history of foster care correlates to becoming homeless at an earlier age and remaining homeless for a long period of time. With your help, we can continue to give these kids hope. With your help, we can continue to help in taking their worries away. With your help, we can continue to help find them a loving home with loving families. So what can you do to help? As I was driving down Camargo Road, it was quiet. I did not have the radio on. I was just talking to God. 
praying that Ben was okay. I kept going through every what if scenario. I was worried what I was going to see when I got to the scene of the accident. How was I going to respond with whatever news I was going to get? My anxiety rose as I continued driving and I took a left on Loveland Madera Road. There are a million great charities out there, but let me ask you this. What charities have 86% of their workforce working for free? What charity out there has a 99% success rate? What charity is helping kids and in doing so, helping the entire community become a better community? When ProKids is successful, it not only helps the kids in foster care and their families, but it helps the entire community. What do I mean that helping kids helps the entire community? To start, we know that prevention can control healthcare costs. Because of the link between adverse childhood experiences and chronic illnesses from depression to diabetes, preventing these experiences in childhood reduces lifelong healthcare costs. Prevention can encourage a better educated and more productive workforce. Because a young child's brain reaches 90% of its growth by age five, trauma at a young age can permanently change it. This impacts her ability to learn. For older children, abuse and neglect decreases their cognitive functioning, leads to poor academic performance, increases the likelihood of behavioral problems and mental illness. In addition, children who experience multiple childhood adverse experiences are more likely to miss school, putting them at risk for dropping out of high school. Prevention increases the likelihood that the cycle of abuse and neglect is broken, helping future generations to grow up without these risk factors. When children spend their childhood without a safe, permanent, nurturing home, they are more likely to harm their own children. That means the costs we've talked about continue to multiply. How does ProKids do it? We work one-on-one -on -one with these kids. We meet with their doctors, teachers, families, and friends. We make sure kids are placed in a home that will give them love and success. We advocate directly in court where the decisions are made for these kids. We connect all the pieces and we get the community involved to continue the success we have. So why should you invest in pro kids? It's an incredible bargain. 86% of the workforce is unpaid. We have dedicated community volunteers who have the support of passionate, caring, driven staff members. This maximizes the impact by investing in pro kids. This goes beyond the here and now. It is future focused. What kinds of parents will these kids be? Our success creates a stronger community for tomorrow. It is foundational. Other investments mean little if the child doesn't have a safe, permanent, nurturing home. That home means a child knows they matter. They have value. They can dream and know they are loved. As I was driving up Loveland Madeira Road, I felt a sense of peace, knowing that everything was going to be okay. It had to be, right? I just saw my son play in a baseball game two hours ago. I was just texting him 30 minutes ago that I loved him. It is always such a beautiful drive down that road, but I didn't notice the huge towering trees. I took a right on Coogler Mill. I drove over the train tracks, up the hill, and I saw an ambulance driving away slowly. I didn't know if Ben was in that ambulance or Paul. The road was blocked with yellow caution tape. I parked the car and got out. I saw Ben's good friend Micah sitting in the middle of the road, staring out into a daze. I started asking everyone, is Ben okay? No one answered. I asked again, where is Ben? Again, no one answered. I asked again, is Ben alive? Again, no one answered. I asked again, is Ben alive? Paul's grandfather answered no. The world stopped. I started calling and texting hundreds of people. My first call was to my daughter, Ellie. When she got to the scene of the accident, she asked me if I could have snot come out of my nose onto her foot and tell her everything was going to be okay. I did not answer her. At that moment, I didn't know if everything was going to be okay. I just held her. But everything was going to be okay. And everything is going to be okay. Because we have love. We have an abundance of love in our lives. Let's help these kids in the foster care system so they can have hope, so they can persevere through difficult times. With your help, we can do that. I invest in pro kids because the results are unquestionable. It helps kids, their families, and the city of Cincinnati. There are more children every year who need this help. They need our help as donors. They need our help 
as volunteers. You can take a stand for these children. Visit ProKids.org to find out how you can join me as a friend of Children's Society member or advocate directly for a child as a ProKids volunteer. Our children are waiting for you.